Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to talk about the ACR Artex Personal Locator Beacon. So I'm very excited to talk to you guys about this Personal Locator Beacon because I think this is such an upgrade to my pack. I've been thinking that going forward it is better to have something like a Personal Locator Beacon and since I have been traveling to places where there's no cell signal, it is really, for safety reasons, better to have a personal locator beacon. And as many of you guys know, I don't have a lot of money to spend, so I try to do my research and see what really fits my budget and fits my purpose of traveling and what suits me. And what it came down to was in the beginning I was looking at the Garmin inReach and the spot beacon and then I found this so this is called the ACR Artex PLB1 which is in short for personal locator beacon one this is less than $300 and it's a one-time fee and I was trying to compare this between uh, Garmin inReach because a lot of uh, people I was I follow on YouTube they use the inReach and it looks really nice and really fancy and you get a two-way communication system but in the end really what I need it for is to be able to send an SOS in life and death situation so uh, I don't really need to communicate with the outside world when I'm out traveling it's kind of the reason why I'm out there in the wilderness is because I don't want to any other people you know like uh, I don't want to be on my phone and my emergency contact they know that I am there I am pretty good at telling one or two people that I will be at this location and if you don't hear from me in a so-so day you know like until the end of my trip then then maybe you should you know check up on me <laughs> make sure that I'm still alive uh, with that said I chose to uh, get this one instead of the other two because I didn't want to pay for subscription fees. Uh, the inReach you and the Spot Beacon they have subscription fees, so you buy the the unit and then you have to pay a monthly fee de depending on the type of service you're trying to get. Uh, I didn't need any of that, so it might be different for you. But for if you really just want like a simple SOS unit, then this would suit you just fine. So what exactly do you need to know about this other than no subscription fees? So you pay the $300 cost for the unit when you actually activate it in case you need it, then it's free, you know, it's supported by the government. You can use it around the world what you do is the antenna here you just flip the antenna up and I've read a lot of reviews about the antenna being flimsy because as you know like the Garmin inReach and the spot beacon has a very like uh, hard antenna on the top but to me this doesn't really bother me so this is a non-issue and then you open this flap there's a button here the red button and when you press that red button it transmits a signal to the satellite to send SOS so there's no way you can accidentally press it because there's a cover on it and if you want to retract the antenna it's this way you just twist this to close it back up so this is the lightest 5 watt personal locator beacon out there if I'm wrong please let me know in the comments which one is lighter but when I was doing my research it's pretty light and I I like my things to be not bulky if you guys have been following my videos I'm trying to get the smallest this the lightest this you know um, with the of course balancing budget as well <laughs> so um, battery uh, this is good for seven years there's also 
once you buy it, there's an expiration date of when it was manufactured and seven years from now, you will need to refresh the battery. You can call their service department to uh, pay the 150, I think more or less, to change the battery for you. But once again, I've seen on YouTube that people were changing it themselves. Now that I leave up to you. I'm not saying go ahead, change it yourself or go pay for it. That's up to you guys. I have yet to make that decision when the time comes, but right now for safety purposes and warranty or $150 is not much, you know, if it's like something to pay for for your life, I guess. <laughs> so going into battery, uh, I also wanted to add that for safety issues, once you do activate it, it's safer to just get the battery reserviced. That way you have a very fresh battery and it's not at 40% when you need to use it a second time, if you need to use it a second time. That way it's always fresh for your next adventure. Another thing I wanna talk about is that once you press that button, it transmits a signal for over 24 hours. So the battery life is actually longer than 24 hours. The location accuracy is actually within 100 meters of where you are actually located. So uh, for this particular one, uh, it, my battery would be expiring in 2028. So I have seven years uh, to use it as is. And you can use it in any country. Waterproof, right? You need to know if this is waterproof because uh, people usually use this when they go diving or they're out uh, sailing and stuff. Uh, it is waterproof to 15 meters and uh, it, they put a temperature there that it says waterproof at 15 meters at 20 degrees Celsius. So there you go. Um, in terms of where I actually would put this when I carry it, I would put it on my person. So I had a talk with a few of my friends and they were talking to me about uh, where I place my cell phone because I use it to navigate. And back then, without the personal locator beacon, I don't really have a peace of mind because I don't have two cell phones. So I use the cell phone to navigate, but then I always think I really should have it in, in my person because if I fall and the bike falls off the cliff or whatever and we separate it and then I don't have any work, form of communication. Um, so, but now I have a personal locator beacon and this is going to stay with me in my jacket. But where in my jacket would I put this? So I am thinking of ways to fall off the bike and injure myself. And I know there's a pocket on the climb jacket that fits this perfectly, but I do not want to put it there because I had fallen really hard on the bike where I fell on not, actually not on this side, but I fell on my left side and actually that strained my shoulder for over six months. I would not have liked that this was placed on the arm that had fallen because I would definitely have fractured my, my arm at that point. So I would keep it uh, personally, if like thinking in an accident, I would want to keep it somewhere central. So uh, maybe around this area here because I don't want to keep it near my chest because I don't want it to, to fracture anything if I hit the handlebar and this is right here. So uh, for now, all I can think of is I'll keep it in one of the, the pockets outside. So uh, I want to be able to reach it with both hands in case one one arm is injured you know, in the, or whatever, then I can still reach to the other pocket. They do come with a pouch and I guess a lanyard and all that stuff, but I was just gonna put it in this pouch and put it in my pocket and use it in case I need it. I really, really hope I don't have to use it. Just like when I bring my tools, my med kit, I really hope to not use them, but it's really nice to have them in case you actually need to use them. Uh, false activation. I read a bunch of reviews uh, saying that, oh, my kid, uh, you know, it's easy for my kid to just like play with it and activate it because, you know, there's like no, it's just a red button with a power switch. It doesn't say SOS. And I mean, 
I don't have kids, so I can't say, oh, well, my kid, you know. <laughs> so I don't have kids, I don't have children in this house other than a bunch of dogs and a bunch of chickens. Uh, what I would say with that is do not put it somewhere where their child can play with it because it's not a play toy, you know. So I would put it somewhere secure just like how you hide your guns, yes, because I know a lot of you guys own some. Uh, I wouldn't be willy-nilly like leaving it about where, you know, a child can go get it. Oh, what is this? <laughs> so, for example, if you're traveling with friends and family, whatever, somebody other than you, and just to be very safe, tell them about it and say, I have a personal locator beacon, do not play with it, this is how it works. Then you can avoid the false activation that way. And lastly, I just wanted to say that this is not a pitch to say that you should buy this versus that. I'm just telling you that that is what I chose to get and I wanted to share it with you guys because uh, to me, why I chose to get this one specifically is because of the cost and that's a big deal for me. Uh, the size, the, the weight, because it's only less than 4 ounces, maybe like 116 grams, yeah, 4 ounces. And I don't really need the two-way communicator system. I can see why some people would need it, like if you travel alone and you have wife and kids and they can worry about you, you know, and I understand that. So that might, this might not be for you, but for those that like, you know, simple solo and you don't really have anybody that's gonna be, oh my God, like three days haven't heard from you, then this is, this is good for you. Uh, so what I would say is buy what makes sense for you and buy what suits your purpose. And for me, this is what suits my purpose. I hope this has been really, really informative. On another note, I just want to let you guys, I am finally off the cast and I still can't ride the bike, however, because I cannot fit on my motorcycle boots. This is actually a very swollen foot. Uh, I'm not sure if it's obvious on, on the screen, but it is way bigger than my other foot. <laughs> so uh, maybe another month or so, I'm really excited to get back on the bike. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that I've started a Patreon account and I would love it if you guys can join me. If not, that is totally fine. And I'm just thankful that you guys keep watching my videos and liking my videos and telling your friends about it and sharing it and subscribing. That is plenty of support already. Meanwhile, Muchas gracias, Eloy Escola, por apoyar mi canal. For the others that don't want to be mentioned, and that is okay, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I do take consideration, you know, your suggestions, and I love reading your comments. So please write comments even just to say hi, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.